Hello, and welcome to my uh, video on the reactions of Night Trials. And, and in this video, I'm really only going to focus on one specific reaction of Night Trials, and that is hydrolysis. Uh, I've got a video coming up where we talk about some of the other th kinds of nucleophilic react uh, nucle situations in which Night Trials react with nucleophiles, but in this particular case, we are just going to focus on uh, hydrolysis. So, uh, one thing to note is uh, that you could conceive of uh, an amid actually hydrolyze, or sorry, a nitrile hydrolyzing to an intermediate amid. And I'm going to end up drawing this mechanism because it's not quite the same as a nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanism. Uh, and and the, the and then we'll talk about the basic version as well. Uh, oops, hydrogen, nitrogen, positive charge. So if the the acid is sufficiently strong enough, the nitrile can be protonated. Protonated nitriles uh, are really strong acids. The pKa of this thing is around minus nine, minus ten. So we all we have to have a really strong acid present in the solution. And so often hydrochloric or even hydrobromic or hydroiodic is used because you need something that's just really strong acid. Sulfuric acid is not good enough for this reaction. Followed by nucleophilic attack at the nitrile carbon. Carbon nitrogen pi bond breaks. So now we have oxygen with its extra proton and, and something that looks like sort of an oxygenated imine kind of weird thing. Um, we're not done here. Uh, we're going to end up need to get rid of this extra proton on the oxygen. There we go. And ultimately, we need to this thing to undergo tautomerization. There is a word perhaps you haven't heard before, or haven't heard in a while. Uh, this first neutral compound and the amide are tautomers of each other. It means they share a conjugate acid or they share a conjugate base. In this case, we're in acid, so we're going to do the conjugate acid version. Um, but you know, they are different based in a placement of a proton. Ooh. Not what I wanted to do that structure. So, you know, the acidic first variation of this mechanism, you protonate the nitrogen, you deprotonate the oxygen and you have your amine here you have your amide and water is pretty much the proton transfer agent here because there's there's nothing else really present in the reaction Uh, this can also be done under basic conditions, and the mechanism is a little bit different. It's got some similarities, but it's, it's different. Uh, I lost a methyl group. Um, water, this is now sodium hydroxide. And, um, you know, as, as in the basic version of just about all of these things, we end up with nucle direct nucleophilic attack first. We have this imidate anion uh, that's going to pick up a proton from our aqueous solution. Uh, 
And now we've got the same kind of intermediate that I drew before. Uh, and in the basic version, we take the proton and then we give it back. So we're going to deprotonate the oxygen. Now we have a different kind of imidate anion. And then this is going to pick up a, a proton from water. And we're going to end up with the amide. And again, you get to the, the amide, right? So it is possible to hydrolyze nitriles to amide, though I want to turn. To, to just caution you that uh, this reaction is not without some troubles. That you know, under either acid or base, you may generate the amide, but the amide is further reactive under those circumstances and it is quite easy to further hydrolyze the amide to the carboxylic acid uh, or the carboxylate anion if in base. So its reaction can just be difficult to stop at the amide. Um, and this is the last that I really have to say about the, the reactions of nitriles. Again, there are other reactions of nitriles, uh, especially with reducing agents and, and um, organometallic reagents that are coming up in, an, in another video. But I just wanted to talk about the interconversion of the derivatives themselves. So this concludes uh, the entire video series on the interconversion of carboxylic acid derivatives. Thank you for watching.